In this video, I'm going to show you a KDP low content book niche where one of the best selling books is making around $1,400 per month. And that's in pure profit. And the other things that are great about this niche is that the competition is relatively low. They are easy to create and the niche is evergreen, which means the books sell well all year round. So we're going to look at the niche in a bit more detail, show you the steps that I go through when I'm investigating the niche. Then I'll show you how to create a unique interior from an interior that we can buy online, although I'll show you how you can actually get it for free. Then I'll show you those all important keywords that are essential for giving your book the best chance of ranking on Amazon. And I've got a free gift for you as well. So what is this niche? Well, it's the mood tracker journal niche. And these are books that are designed to help people track their mood. And so that it can track their mood over weeks or months or sometimes years. And they can track it in relation to things like food, their diet, lifestyle, exercise, medication, and disorders, things like uh, attention deficit disorder, bipolar disorder, depression, and anxiety. And I can tell you from my experience as a doctor for nearly 30 years, I had quite a number of patients that used these books to track their mood and they were very useful indeed. So here we are on Amazon. I've put in a general uh, keyword, mood tracker journal, and you can see here, we've got all these suggestions from Amazon, which will be important later when we come to do our keyword research. Now, when I'm looking at books on Amazon and I'm doing my initial research, what I like to do is look at the best sellers ranks of those books on the first page for a general keyword like this mood tracker journal. And what I'm looking for are three or more books with best sellers ranks of less than 300,000, because then I know that books are actually uh, being sold, are making sales in this particular niche. So we'll just have a scroll down. We'll ignore these sponsored listings. Now I've got a plugin installed called DS Amazon Quick View, which gives me this information here that you can see at the bottom of a listing. It gives me the best sellers rank of the book. It saves me having to click on each book and look at the best sellers rank individually. It just saves a bit of time. So straight away, we can see this book here, best sellers rank of 90,318. If we scroll down further, again, we've got these here, all KDP books, best sellers rank 60,000, 18,000, 48,000, and this one here, 146,000. So straight away, this fulfills my criteria. I know sales are being made. And if we scroll down further, again, we can see we've got this book here that's selling even better with a bestsellers rank of 12,000. Now, just a quick glance at these books, I can see that the, the book covers don't look anything special. It won't require a lot of graphic design skills to create uh, covers that can can compete with these books. And in fact, you'll find there's a common thread with a lot of these books in that they show the interior on the front cover, like you can see uh, these three books here. And this is a technique that I've actually used in a lot of my books. In fact, when I started publishing and using this technique, I was one of the few publishers that actually use this. But now there's quite a few books that do use this technique and it is very effective. Now, during the research, I noticed that these books can be targeted at different age groups. So kids, teens and adults. So it's very versatile. Now, if we look at this bestseller here, it has a bestsellers rank of 18,706. So if we go to tckpublishing.com, put that into the book sales calculator, we can see that it's selling between 220 to 450 books per month. Now, if we look at the profit margin on this book, we can see that for a seven by 10 inch book with 110 pages selling at $9.98, it brings in royalties of $3.12 per book. Again, that's pure profit. So that's pretty good. And in fact, one of the good things about this niche that I noticed is that there are a lot of books that are selling well, where the price is higher than that normal $6.99 or $7.99. We've got this one here at $9.98, this one here at $8.98, and again, $8.99. So there is a chance with this niche to get a bit more profit per book which is always good. And so now if we have a look at the interior of one of these books, we can see that it has these different sections here, the date, suggestions on how the person may be feeling, how they can score their mood in the morning and evening, some areas 
for the customer to write in and also things like food they may have eaten during the day or fluids they may have drunk. So it's a very basic low content book interior and these kind of interiors are easy to create yourself or you can find them quite easily online. So I'll show you where we can get one of these interiors. And that brings us on to the next stage, which is actually creating an interior itself. And I'll show you how to create a unique interior. So one of my favorite places to go is Creative Fabrica. And here I just put in Mood Tracker and you can see we've got all these options that are given to us. And all of these have commercial licenses to use and most of them also print on demand licenses so you can use them in the creation of your books and here's a couple that I had a closer look at again look very basic if you wanted to create one of these yourself if you want another option there's a site like Fiverr again I put in mood tracker and there's some options here for creators to create an original interior for you obviously you'll probably find you've got to pay a bit more than you would on Creative Fabrica but you've got that original interior that they can create. Although having said that, if you do use Fiverr, just make sure it is an original uh, interior that they are creating and that you can use it for commercial purposes. But for this, we're going to use an interior off Creative Fabrica. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually get one of these for free and you can do that by signing up for Creative Fabrica in the link down below. And for the first month, um, you can get, I think it's up to 10 downloads of different products. So you could, you know, go and use those free options and download some of these interiors, see what they look like and give them a try. Um, if you continue the subscription after that, it's around $9.99 per month, unless you pay up front, which I think is like $59.88 for the whole year. And this is one of my go-to places for interiors, um, images, fonts that I use on my books and I've been using create, uh, Creative Fabrica for around I think it's since 2020 now so it is a very good resource. So here I've downloaded one of the interiors and I'm just going to drag this PDF into Affinity Designer and here it is you can see we can open all 120 pages of this interior and it's a six by nine inch interior. Now in order to create something a bit more original, what I'm gonna do is combine this interior with another interior, and that's aligned interior. And the idea behind this is that we're gonna have one page where customers can track their mood, and then on the other side, an area where customers can write something like in a journal. Although what I'm gonna do is put prompts in there. So it's gonna be a combination of a mood tracker and a prompt journal. And this is a good idea if you are creating low content books to think about combining different types of books to make something a bit more original so that it stands out a bit more uh, in your listing on Amazon. So what you can do is go across to Gumroad. I'll leave a link to Gumroad down below in the description and also you'll find down there the link to Creative Fabrica as well. And there you'll find this lined paper interior which is absolutely free of charge to download. It's a 120 page six by nine inch interior. Then what we need to do is go across to Canva. Now you can open up a free account in Canva. What I'm going to show you today is in the free version of Canva. And what we're going to do is click on create a design. Then at the bottom here, click on import file and then I'm just going to drag in that 120 page lined file. Once that's downloaded, just click on it to open it. And here we can see we've got our 120 lined pages. So now what I'm going to do is copy one of those mood tracker pages and import it here into Canva. Now the first page is going to be the right hand side page in the book. So I'm going to remove those just delete them and I'm going to put in some text and I'm going to write just something basic like this book belongs to and then I'll put in some lines so just go to elements under shapes click on this line and then we can just move that across like so and then holding down option left click of the mouse we can just drag down and create a couple of copies of that line okay so now what I want in this book is that when they turn over the right page the first page on the left is going to be the mood tracker page 
and the other side is going to be the lined page. So we're going to delete all these lines on page two. Then I'm going to go to Affinity Designer. Now this could be any software that you decide to, to open that interior in. So it could be Adobe Illustrator, it could be um, Photoshop, whatever. And all I'm going to do is just draw a bounding box around one page, then Command C or Control C to copy. Go back to Canva, click on our page, Control V or Command V to paste. Move that to the top left corner and drag that down. And so now we have our first mood tracker page. So now if we scroll down, the opposite page to this is going to be this lined page. Now what I want to do is add a prompt to this page. So I'm gonna just delete some of these top lines here to make room for our prompt. Now in order to get our prompt, I'm gonna use a bit of AI and we're gonna to go to chat GPT. But you could make up these prompts yourself. So here I put in create 60 daily prompts for a mood tracker journal. And how quick is that? So I'm just gonna take the first prompt, copy back to Canva, and then just paste. Now I'm just gonna drag that to the top here. So the first thing I want to do is change the font. So at the top here, click on the font box. And then on the left hand side here, we've got a choice of all these different fonts. Now, if you're in the free account, you can choose any of these fonts except for those with a gold crown next to them. Those are for those with a paid pro account. So we're just going to go ahead and choose one of these free fonts. And I'm going to choose this one here. And I'm going to reduce the size of that, increase the width of the box slightly and move that into position. So that would be our first prompt. And then what we would do is then go to page four, delete the lines paste in our mood tracker page and so on and then just create each page as you go through the book and then when you've done that you would just hit share at the top right hit download then choose pdf print and i often choose flatten pdf and then just hit download and that will download the PDF file to your computer. Now this is going to be a 120 page file. You could do whatever number of pages that you like, depending on how many days or weeks you want to include in your, your low content book. So now once you've got your book cover that you've created and you've got your interior, you're then ready to, to upload that to the um, KDP platform. Obviously you've got to write in the title, subtitle, etc. I've gone through those steps in another video, which I'll leave a link to down below. Now, one of the important aspects when publishing books on Amazon is the use of keywords to help get your book seen by customers. Now it's not a guarantee that it gets your book ranked you know, high up on that first page, but it does help. There are a number of factors to getting your books uh, ranked on Amazon. But for me, I found that keywords are one of those important components. Now, what are keywords? Well, they are the search words that customers type into Amazon. Here, we've got mood tracker. Now, what you can see is when you type in a broad keyword like mood tracker we've got all these suggestions here and I'm just going to narrow that down a bit to mood tracker journal so Amazon on the left here gives us these suggestions and these are superb for two reasons one Amazon is actually telling us what customers are searching for and also customers will tend to click on these if they see there's something there relevant to what they're searching for so these are very useful and what I do is I start to write these down on a spreadsheet. Now I do have another plugin installed, a free Chrome plugin called AMZ Suggestion Expander, which gives me these other keywords here that you can see in these colored boxes. And these are also keywords or search terms that customers are typing into the search bar on Amazon. So those will also go onto my spreadsheet. Now, when I hit search, for a particular search term, in this case, Mood Tracker Journal, there are two main things that I'm looking for. One is this figure here, which is the number of search results. And this gives us an idea of the competition because it sort of telling us approximately how many other books are out there similar to the one that we want to publish. Now, I tend to use search terms or keywords that have a search results of 1,000 or less. 
purely because from my experience, I find that it's easier to get my book on that first page of the search results, rather than say, if there was 10,000 search results, because if that was the case, for me, it means there's a lot of competition. And in that case, I'd have to start thinking about marketing strategies like running an Amazon ad campaign. But I found that if I use uh, keywords with 1,000 search results or less, I can often get away without running any Amazon ad campaign. And in fact, most of my top selling books have never had a, a, an ad run on them at all. So the next figure I look at is this here, where it says volume. Now, this is the number of Google searches per month. How many people are searching on Google for this particular keyword? And it just helps give us an idea of the amount of external search for a particular keyword. So for me, it just gives a keyword a bit of extra strength and it's useful just to note. So that if there are a couple of similar keywords I can't decide between, if one has a lot of Google searches, I'll often go with that one rather than the, the other one. Because sometimes there's a chance of picking up extra traffic to your book from Google searches themselves. So what I do is I build up a spreadsheet. I'll just enlarge that for you. And we have three columns. One is the keyword or search term. The other is the Amazon search results, which I've just told you about, and then the Google monthly searches. And what I do is as I find each keyword that's suggested by Amazon, I will take each of these and put that into the search bar. And again, look at the other suggestions, look at the, the search results on Amazon. And so you end up with this keyword list that just grows and grows and grows, and it can take some time. And here, I went through all the steps and found 78 different keywords. Now, a lot of these have search results of less than 1000. So there's a lot of different keywords here that you can target in your book that have less competition. And the idea is, is to use those lower competition keywords in your books. And then eventually, if you start to get sales of your book, you start to build up a sales history and you'll start to rank for those more competitive keywords um, that you didn't target in the first place. And as I said, it's not just keywords that help your book rank. There's other factors, things like your cover design, are customers clicking on your book? What's the conversion rate if you're making sales? But as I said, keywords are one of those major factors that I really look at. Now, the good news is, is that I've done all the work for you. I've got these mood tracker keywords, all 78 keywords with the search results, and it's available to you free of charge. And I've uploaded this to my Gumroad shop. So again, I'll link to that down below in the description. So you can go along there, you can download it for free, and it can just start off your own um, keyword research and creating your own books to publish on Amazon. So you'll find that that will come in very handy. Now, if you are new to this whole publishing game on Amazon, things like no content, low content books, then I do have this book tutorials playlist here. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. I hope you found all that information useful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.